Today, I'm going to talk about how I quote containers. First and foremost, shout out to DNL68. Uh, they asked for this video. They, they, they requested this video. So if you have uh, any requests, if you want to ask any questions, if you have any comments, you want me to make a, a video about anything, hit me up. So DNL68 commented on a picture that I recently posted of a quote that I did from Savannah to Calhoun, Georgia and asked, could I make a video on how I quoted it? So here's how I quoted it. First, hey, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you subscribed yet? If you're not, go ahead and subscribe, man. First, I gather all the information. So I usually, if I'm dealing with containers, I usually, uh, I'm usually working with freight forwarders. So they bring in the work from overseas, like they do the paperwork side, and I bring it in from the port to wherever it's going. All right, so you know, freight forwarders are a good uh, are a good way to to get freight or to move freight. Um, so they send me the information about the and it's oh, just quick freight forwarders. They're like they're like business partners. They are business partners. They're business partners. So they're all they're also always going for new customers that they're 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 cold calling just like us freight forwarders and brokers were basically doing the same thing as far as cold calling wise it's just that they're saying hey let me help you get the paperwork and all that so we can bring it in to the states and then i'm going to find a driver also or a, a broker who's going to help me get the shipments moved so that's what they do um so like i gather all the information from the freight provider the weight the zip code, the distance between the zip codes, the commodity and the equipment needed, you know, 20 foot container, 40 foot container, 45, whatever it is. I then go to loadmatch.com and go to the drage directory. So that's loadmatch.com drage directory. It's all container, all carriers uh, who do drage, who do containers. So I go there, I call multiple carriers. I'm trying to see what the rate is like what's the what's the market going for so say say i get one so i get a carrier to say hey i can do that for 1300 and everybody else is saying i can do it for 1600 1700 but i'm only getting that one carrier to say 1300 i'm gonna go with the 1600 amount because that's the normal that's what everybody's going with and i'm gonna add my 10 to 15 percent commission and but i'm still going to try to work with that 1300 carrier but if say he falls through i still can work with the 1600 carriers and make my margin and when i go to low match i'm looking for carriers that can give me a flat fee but everybody's going to have the the pre-pull fees if i got to pre-pull it and, and store it in the yard they're going to charge for that all I'm going to have chassis fees, you know, they don't charge by day, how long they're going to need it, because usually they're renting the chassis from the ports. So they're going to give you chassis fees, rental fees. But I like a person because if I have the zip codes, I know how long it usually takes to run this shipment. And I should know how, that's all going to be into the, the total cost. So I like a carrier to give me a flat fee. How much is it going to take to run this? in the normal amount of time. Give me a flat fee. You're gonna have some carriers to give you a long list of every fee here and there. I'm like, ugh, just give me a flat fee. So I'm gonna call multiple carriers. I'm looking for flat fees. Uh, and then I'm gonna add my 10 to 15%. And then I'm gonna take that fee onto the freight provider. And it's that simple. So really it's like three steps. Gather all the information. Go to loadmatch.com, call multiple carriers, get get an average rate, and then add my percentage and take it on to the um to the freight provider. Like I said, there's gonna be different fees associated, but you gotta you just gotta call multiple carriers and kind of get a good feel. There's gonna be chassis fees, pre-pool fees, overweight fees, um, like detention. That's, that's with anybody though. Uh, those are usually the, the, the things like that's, that's usually what you got to look out for. Those three are really what's going in to quoting most container loads.
but it's simple. It's simple. Just got to most things. You just got to call. Got to call multiple carriers and get you right. I hope that helps, d uh, Like I said, if, if anybody else, if you have to, you have a comment or you want me to make a video about anything, you have a question, hit me up.